Hello everyone, this is Lolly and I welcome you back to my channel today. I get many questions about what I am using as far as video editing software. Now this is not what I started off at. I started off with a free software that then changed and became so crummy that I couldn't do much with it and also I just really needed to have some more capabilities in my video editing software. So what I have now is Adobe Premiere Elements. I have the 2019 version, but you can see here that there is a 2021 version available. And you can see that it is $99.99, or you can upgrade to this, which is Photoshop and Premiere Elements. Okay, so what you need to do first off, though, is to realize that there are system requirements in order to operate this software on your computer. So I had looked and it says you need a Windows Intel 6th generation or newer, Microsoft Windows 10, uh, 1903 or later, version 1909 recommended. You need a 64-bit, you know, computer. It goes on and on and how much RAM you need. And uh, and also has all of the instructions here for what you need for a Mac operating system. So, and what you need as far as all computers need these requirements here. So I would go through and, and search Adobe Premiere Elements system requirements and you will get this. I will also give you a link to this down below this video. So the current computer that I had when I knew I needed to update my software was not strong enough. So I went and bought a Lenovo ThinkPad has an Intel Core i7 8th generation with 16 gig RAM and it is a 64 bit system. I want to show you what this is like unfortunately you can't see off screen but I have the icon for the premiere and so I clicked on it it's just below the recording space here so it's pulling up it will take a moment okay so when this opens up you got some oops I don't know why it's all blue like this you got some choices here and so here's the video editor and that's what I need and you'll see these other videos here. These are ones that I've already done and saved in the system. I don't want to save one. I want to open a new one. So I'm going to click Video Editor. And I have taken my video that I want to edit. And it is on my laptop desktop. And so I will be able to pull off from my desktop the se video segment that I need. I just filmed a silly little quick video that I can use to show you uh, just some basic introduction to this editing software. Editing software is, it's unique to everybody. It's however your brain works. And when I had been looking at some other software, I just kept thinking, I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, this is taking a while to open today. I will show you some quick techniques for the basic things that you will need to do in editing your craft video. Here we go. Once you see this, it's really getting close. Okay, I think we're good and loaded. Now here's what it looks like when you open it up. There is nothing on here until you add media. So that's your music, your photos, and your videos that you want to assemble. So when I click this, I want to go to Files and Folders. Now on my desktop, I have saved a picture that I want to use. And so I go back, Add Media. I also have saved a video. And I called it Pocket. You will see it says MP4 File. That's a video. Click Open. And then add media, files, and folders. I also have a folder under pictures, and that is my video intros. If I open that folder, I can select this and open it. I'm going to add more media, the same folder, and say this, open that. And I'm going to add one more thing in my folders, and that is under music. I'm just going to do a real quick this one here. Okay, everything I need is all up here, music and everything. So the first thing I, that I want, I'm going to grab this. It's kind of like an, an intro photo. It's just a photo. So when you click and drag, you want to bring it over here to where it says video one. Now I can make this, I could take up more space by grabbing the end of it and prolonging it this way. And sometimes I do that until I know how my music is going to fit. Now down here you see music. I'm going to grab this song and bring that down to where it says music. And you can see that this picture is probably too long for the music. 
I can, this is very hard to see because it's so shrunken, but if I come over here, let me go back and project X, move that up. I can prolong or extend this so I can see on this right hand side, I'm clicking and dragging this and it makes this easier for me to deal with. Now I know the music is always too loud for me. So if I click this little arrow, this little volume bar shows up and I can click that and drag it and pull it down just a little bit. Let's see what we have so far. I'm going to push play. And I, I paused it right then because I think that's good enough for me. So I'm going to take this, the end of this photo and bring it back over here, right to where I am. This is your play line right here. And now I need something after that photo. So I'm going to click, oops, project asset, assets. Those are the things that we've uploaded. I'm going to grab my video and pull that right in here. Now I know it's going to be a little difficult because I'm going to be narrating this. Plus you will also hear the sound of me on the video. If you have a hard time seeing your video, you can grab the bottom of that line and pull it down and extend it full screen. But I like to be able to see this and whatever I write in text. Okay, now I want you to see how my video starts. This is a typical reason why you need video editing software. I'm just getting ready. I'm shuffling things around. You hear crashing. You see me fixing my sleeves. And that's where it starts. So you can see this black line here. That is sound. I'm going to grab this blue thing and move it over. So this is how you can move it around to where you want it in the video. Or you can come up in here. You can push play. Or you can click this, which is step back, which is tiny little, little increments. This actually plays the video backwards, and this goes back to the very last uh, crack, basically, that you've created, which is right here. So if I bring this here to where I'm actually getting ready to start the video, there's a little scissor icon here. I'm going to click that, and now click this area by highlighting it. Right-click and select Delete and Close Gap. Now it brings the good part of the video over against this, and now all of that riffraff is missing. Hello, See how much better that is, being able to take that out. Now what if you want a little transition between the photo and the video over here where it says add, apply transitions. I'm going to click it, choose cross dissolve and move that right over, right over that gap there. And now choose how many seconds you want, one, two, three, etc and apply. Now we, I want to get this out of the way so I'm going to click the arrows to move it. Now let's check that transition out here and watch the screen up here and see how it fuzzes into the next scene. Hello. Now that's so much better. Now let's get going. Okay now you see if we don't edit, we're going to have coughing and clearing our throat. So let's come to the beginning of that coughing, use our scissors, come to the end of the coughing, use our scissors, click it, right click, delete and close gap. And now let's play that again. You see how much better that is? Now one thing I advise right in the beginning is to go ahead and save this file save as and you can see it automatically saves it in its own folder which is actually part of documents but we need a name and save that way we know for sure if we mess up and it crashes and we have to come back we can always take care of that later I want to say too that since I film on my cell phone, sometimes the lighting isn't that great and it's probably best to adjust the lighting before you get started. Otherwise, you have to adjust the lighting on every segment as you go. And how you would do that is in the very beginning, go to Edit, Adjustments, Lighting, and you can click to brighten it. Now watch this right here as I click the different, see how that goes? And just move the arrows back and it keeps it. Okay, so let's keep playing. Four and a half inches wide, five inches tall, and the pocket itself will be three and a half inches. Now, before I glue this together, I want to put a notch in, and I have this one and a quarter inch circle. 
triple punch by EK Success. I'm just kind of eyeballing. I don't know if they have changed the design of this. I will put a photo of it uh, right here for you. Okay, I just said in my video that I'm going to include a photo. So let's go to Project Assets. There's the photo there. Now let me move this up a little bit so we can see. This, what I'm operating now is video one, but now we also have video two. That's where I'm taking this punch and putting it right up against that line, and that will come in right as I'm doing it. If this is too big, you can always grab the little blue dots and shrink it up. You can move it wherever you want it on the screen. I did see where my finger's pointing, so I'm going to put this over here. Now I'm going to play the video and see how long I want to put that up there. That's probably good enough. So I can grab the end of that photo and shrink it up. Oh, we want to distress our edges before we proceed. Now here I am looking for supplies. And again, we can cut that out right now. Before we proceed. Okay. I want to stop from saying, let me find. So it's really hard to see in the sound here where that is. But if I stretch this out, I can usually help it a little better. Yep, that's it. I'm going to bring this back. I don't want to hear that. Let me find. Okay. I do want to show bringing the pad on. So I will stop it right here. Click, right click, delete and close gap. Now let's play that back. Okay, so I am using peacock feathers. And as you can see when I do this, I don't necessarily have to, to do all of around here. But if it shows when you have done gluing, it might be a good idea. So let's go ahead. Now, a lot of people like to actually see crafting in real time. However, when you have an hour-long video, 40-minute video, and a lot of it is just this, repetitive motions over and over that people already know how to do. I like to fast forward so I can just do this little tiny increments. Watch my little line back here, how close it gets to this very, very tiny increments. I'm going to cut right there and I'm going to move this over really fast. What I want to see if what I say is important here. I think I'm done. Yeah, that's important. So I'm done right here. Click. Now I want to fast forward through this. So once it's highlighted, click edit and time remapping. Once I do that, basically I'm, I'm setting up a new time zone within this project. So I'm going to add the time zone, grab this and pull it over to the right. And that is encompassing the entire thing within my little cut segment. It tells me that that is 23.7 seconds long. Now I can choose the speed. I can choose half speed. I can choose one and a half, two times. For something like this, three times speed is just fine and you can still see exactly what I'm doing. Um, a coloring video, I usually speed it up to eight times. Okay, my video actually hiccuped and in the process this changed to 7.9, but I'm done, so I'm gonna say done. And what this asks is, when you remap, they want to know if you want to delete the, vid the sound as well, the audio, definitely say yes, or your soundtrack will be off. So now let's see how this plays out. Now I'm going to pause that. You notice I say my favorite glue, but I don't tell what it is. So I need to add some text. I'm going to come up here to text, new text, default, just the regular old text and start typing. Now you notice you can't see the first part because it's white on white. That's why it's important to choose the color of your text. So let's go to style. You want something that has either black with white behind it or white with black behind it because, so let's click that. 
Oh, I didn't spell it right, so I'm going to come back up here and change it to a V. And now let's go back to text. We need to make this a little bigger because most people are watching on their cell phones. So size 100 probably isn't good enough. Let me try 130 and then enter. Eh, let's try 140, enter. Yeah, let's go big, 160. It depends on, oops, you know what? It's only changing the one letter. That is the problem. Okay, let's make sure we highlight the whole thing. Okay, that's big enough. Now you see how it's off the screen? It's important to center it right here with the Align button and get that in the middle. Now let's move that over and I can grab the, click it and then grab it and move it wherever I want it on the screen. So that is the name of the glue and now they can see that and I can stretch the text out for as long as I need to in the video. Now I'm going to start gluing. I'm going to click this little arrow down here and I can fat, I can scooch to the uh, end here. I'm going to click this again. Oops, I didn't do it. I'm going to prep cut. There we go. Cut. There we go. And come back over here until I start talking again. Cut. And then I'm going to fast forward through this. It's highlighted. Edit. Time remapping. Add time zone. And it's 39 seconds. And I need that to be, oh crud, that, uh, let's go very fast. And done, and yes, I want it to mute the sound. So now you see I'm way over here because I, I fast forwarded through so much. Now let's see the end of this. And there you have it. So I hope that helped you out. And you can see that you can put whatever you want in there. This is just a silly little video to show you this software I'm using. Now I'm going to pause it. I'm going to click right here, get rid of this by highlighting it, right clicking, delete and close the gap. That is the end of my video. Now you can see up here how much time this is taking. So this video is about 1 minute and 30 seconds long. If I want to put something at the end, I can go to my project assets, click this and put that right up against there. And I can put a transition by adding, let's do a swing in. Move that over and let's watch that. Let's get rid of this. Let's watch. To show you this software I'm using. That's a swing in. And when you want to save this to your computer, you need to file, make sure you save again and then export and share. Right now all that's saved is it's saving this editable version in my in Adobe Premiere Elements software. If you want to save this as an actual video file that you can upload to YouTube, click export and share. It's already got the name right there. The destination is in your computer video files. Press save and just wait for it to process. When it's done, you hit cancel, you hit done, huh? <laughs> and then X out of the software. So those are just a few of the things that you would be, techniques that you would be using to edit your craft videos. I hope that is helpful to you. There is an undo button on the bottom here. Um, and I have my little, uh, it's buried now because of where I moved my software and you could see my little taskbar unfortunately. Normally you could see the undo button down here. So if you make a mistake, you can always hit the undo button if there's ever a problem you ever make a mistake. Hit that undo button it takes care of it for you. Thank you for watching. I hope this really helps you to decide if this software is for you.